www.lawndellcity.org to find out about all these opportunities to get involved. And it's right there. The link, just click right on it and it'll take you right to there. You can either apply uh, on, in person or online. Also, the Personnel Board, the Parks and Rec and Social Services Board, the Cable Commission, and the City Beautification uh, Commission is on there as well. And I would imagine the Beautification and the Planning Commission work hand in hand there along, along with the Parks and Rec. And speaking of the Parks and Rec and Social Services, uh, Mike Estes came by to talk to us a little earlier today. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think he has the funnest job here at the city. Absolutely. We'll find out. Stay with us. And continuing with our election coverage here tonight in the city of Lawndale, we have another special guest with us. It's Mike Estes, the community services manager. And Anita, this is the fun job of the city. You think it's fun? I think so. we got to ask him how fun it is. How are you? I'm doing well. Great Thank to have you. you with us here tonight nice to on Elections Day, Elections yeah. Night. Um, Mike, you've got a lot going on, as always. Uh, one of the, before we get to some of the very, very main issues that you handle, um, the Youth and Government Day is one of the very, very nice, uh, you know, um, activities that I've seen you provide here at the city, yeah. where you get all the youth involved in what's actually going on in the city council here, what people do, so they get a, a actual hands-on as to what the city officials do. Tell us about that first. Well, Youth and Government Day is a very unique event. There's not many cities that, that have it these days and uh, it's a great event it shows the kids what we do and actually well, actually do in the city government uh, may encourage them to consider going into city government or to study that during school and they, essentially we just bring together all the high school students in the uh, four local schools Hawthorne, Luzinger, Lawndale, uh, Environmental Charter and Lloyd and we invite them out for a day and we put them through a mock city council meeting we give them a tour of the city we feed them lunch and uh, it's really a fun day for staff also. We uh, do what we call job shadowing. and We take a student for an hour or so and walk them through our department, walk them through City Hall, show them what our day-to-day -day job responsibilities are, teach them about the fun stuff we do, whether it be budget or, or putting on events. Yeah, I saw some of the interviews uh, done with some of the students and they were amazed as to how much work is involved with each uh, city official. Yeah. They didn't know that you know everybody has so many uh, different responsibilities, and some of them were really, really encouraged to join the city later on when yeah. they finish um, school yeah. and, and edu education and college. So that's a great, uh, great project you've got yeah. doing. So what are the kids? What, what most interested the kids in that group? Well, I think most of the kids they want to be uh, the mayor or city council. Of course. Uh, <laughs> very few people uh, really want to do the other jobs like the finance or maybe even community services. But once we get a hold of them for an hour and show them what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and show them the fun things and also show them the challenging things, you know, it shows that there's some balance and, and they really get a different impression of what city government's all about. And, and like I said before, maybe they will consider a career in city government or at least studying some facet of it. Now is that an annual event where uh, it's kind of like a field trip day out of school and uh, is that how it works? It is. It's an annual event. We usually hold that about the third week in March and it's a, it's a day out of school for the kids. We pick them up at school at 8 a.m., take them on a tour of the city, uh, which is about an hour and a half, bring them back here. We do the job shadowing and then we put them through a mock city council meeting, which is really fun. We give them a, an issue in the city that's uh, you know, that's uh, something that's current. Like this year we did elimination of graffiti mm -hmm. in the city, which has been a concern for Lawndale, and they try to work out solutions and actually come up with some really good ideas and some that city staff may not have thought of before. Well, that's uh, a different spin on things uh, since, unfortunately, a lot of the youth are doing the tagging. What were some of their solutions? Well, uh, to get the school involved and to start, uh, I think education was one what was big, mm -hmm. starting educating the kids in elementary school so they uh, avoid that type of stuff as they get older and older and just prevention programs whether it be uh, graffiti wipeout events uh, throughout the city and just but, but I think a lot of it was based upon education and uh, they also talked about solutions and you know maybe holding the parents accountable for for some of the things that the, mm -hmm. the teens are doing out on the streets whether it's monetarily or or whatever so yeah, they were able to come up with some really good solutions talk about the youth you have the uh, youth parade coming up pretty soon uh, 24th yes. of April is that right absolutely uh, uh, I actually we were just discussing this uh, I had the opportunity to be the uh, MC actually yeah. reporting the parade uh, the year before last and I enjoyed it it was an absolutely fabulous event yeah. so what um, did you like most about it 
Um, well, it was just fascinating to sit and, and you know have everybody come in front of you. All that everybody from the city of London, the students, how um, how active they are, how involved they are in it, and just to see the mayor, the city councils, and these beautiful cars from the past, and just see the whole city getting excited and getting involved in this beautiful uh, Youth Day parade. You know, yeah. so I really really enjoyed it. So tell us about that a little bit more. Well, once again, you know, Lawndale Lond does has a history of doing unique events, and this is another one that's fairly unique. You don't see city governments putting on youth day parades very often, or parades for that matter. But uh, this parade started way back in the 50s, and then it took a, a six-year hiatus from year 2002 through 2008. So we kind of made the return uh, in 2008. So this, this, uh, the event this year, the 2010 event, is the third year after its return. So our event is Saturday, April 24th, and it's just huge. We have approximately 110 entries, uh, about 30 classic cars. We have youth groups, nonprofit groups, marching bands, drum lines. Uh, it just goes on and on and on, approximately 2,200 participants. Wow. And, uh, Saturday, Pirate, Day, Pirate Day is the uh, theme? The theme is Pirate Days, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the, the event starts at 10 a.m. at Alondra Park, the intersection of Prairie Avenue and Manhattan Beach Boulevard and it uh, continues west on Manhattan Beach Boulevard, makes a right-hand turn on Hawthorne, continues north, makes a right-hand turn on Marine, and then makes a final right-hand turn on Prairie Avenue and finishes in the same location. And no matter where you are in Lawndale, you can catch a, a piece of this parade, you know, pull up the lawn chair or bring the kids out, set up a blanket and just watch the parade go by. How is the community accepting its uh, renaissance? I think the community has been very, very, uh, very open to it, especially the schools. The uh, the amount of enthousia enthusiasm Jimmy. coming from the schools is just just tremendous, and you know we usually have uh, a few thousand people. You know we've never counted, but easily a few thousand people on the sidelines watching as it uh, makes its uh, tour through Lawndale. And can you get can other schools come and, and uh, participate? Yes, the Youth Day Parade Committee has made it wide open. We have uh, local high schools participating, uh, middle schools from other areas such as Torrance, uh, Gardena. It, it's wide open. You know a lot of community events and. Uh, com community groups from from all over the South Bay. Now I got to ask you this because yeah. basketball is pretty close to both you, you and me. Yeah. Uh, is, are the Olympians going to be honored in some way for getting their first CIF championship? The uh, Luzinger Olympians will be part of the parade as 2009-2010 okay. uh, CIF champs. So Coach Reggie Morris will have his kids. All right, we're going to interrupt this interview with Mike Estes for a few moments because the uh, ballots are being counted. Anita Calabari and uh, Permjeet Pata has the results of precinct wow. number one. Very exciting. At Election Central, and it's getting really exciting now as Precinct 1's votes have been counted. And right now, the mayor has 308 votes. And in the council member race, we have Pat Kearney with 207 votes. James Ramsey has 135. And Larry Rudolph is at 242 votes. Now on to the city clerk race. We have Marge Heineman with 109 of the votes and Paula Hartwell with 201 votes. So like I said again, Precinct 1's votes have been counted and we're waiting on the other three precincts. It's getting very exciting. Back to you, Lou and Anita. All right, thank you very much, Premjeet Hara in the Election Central. So a very interesting very race exciting. indeed here for City Clerk as uh, Marge Heinemann is about 100 votes, of, well, actually 98 votes behind Paula Hartwell. There were 310 votes counted in the City Council race. That's a very interesting one as well Absolutely. as incumbent Jim Ramsey is trailing the challenger Pat Kearney for the open seat and Larry Rudolph is leading with 242 votes out of 584 votes cast for that uh, position. Very, very exciting. So uh, the uh, precinct number one was right around the corner from us. It was the uh, Lawndale Library uh, right here at 14615 Buren Avenue. So that's the very first precinct we got in. And Harold Hoffman getting all 308 votes cast for the mayor's race as well. 
And that's uh, going to do it here for precinct number one and our live election coverage here on uh, Channel 22. And do you have anything to add to that right now? Um, I actually wanted to say that uh, we should hopefully get a chance to interview Harold Hoffman and ask him how it feels to be running on a post. I do recall in the uh, the elections before last, mm -hmm. in the 2006 elections, um, he was running on a post as well again back then. So um, it would be a good idea to ask him how he feels running on a post. I'm sure we'll find that out as the evening goes on. I'm sure you may want to wait for a couple more uh, precincts to be counted to, to make it a little more uh, official. That's right. But in the meantime, why don't we get back to Mike Estes yeah. and our interview with him earlier in the day. Council is very amenable to these types of events. They provide the funding for us to succeed in this area, so uh, Lawndale is a great place to be. Yeah. And so tell us more about the uh, fire uh, extravaganza that's going to be July 3rd. July 3rd. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's a fireworks extravaganza at Losinger High School. Mm -hmm. We normally run an event from 5 to 9, mm -hmm. and then usually from uh, 5 to about 8.30 or so. It's just fun and entertainment for the kids, uh, live music, all kinds of game booths, face painting, uh, the food. Uh, mm -hmm. Just all kinds of fun things, balloon artists and whatnot for, for the kids to have fun with. And then we uh, kind of break things down and then clear the field. And then have the fireworks show at 9 o'clock, which is uh, usually about a 20-minute spectacular, amazing fire fireworks show. I've been involved in city fireworks shows for quite some time. And they really do a, a bang-up job for Lawndale. And like I said, last year we had well over 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, it's, it's, it's probably our... our you know, that and the parade are probably our two big events for the year, our, our uh, what you would call our flagship events. Now, does that show uh, time to music? Yeah, that's absolutely. Fun. That's fun. That's always fun to see that. Absolutely. Get the kids out and let them dance and run around on the field. And, yeah, just providing opportunities for the community to come together, keep people busy, give people recreational options. That's one of our missions. You know, we don't don't want bored kids. You know? uh, was the uh, 50th anniversary of the city also one of your big... Uh, project that you were working on also was that not so much your section well we did most of the uh, the operational stuff planning the events but uh, you know the city manager's office and administrative services office uh, uh, kind of worked hand in hand together mm -hmm. with the community services department to plan all the events all the marketing the advertising and but we actually put on the events and and did all the fun stuff that's what's great about this job is we really get to do the fun stuff so for any uh, information on any of the community services, they should be calling the services, community services department. Uh, if, if you could give them their phone number once again. Absolutely. You can contact community services at 310-973-3270. Mm -hmm. or 973-3270. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you can visit Go our website, website on the web at <coughs> Dot org. Dot org, yep. Mm -hmm. And then just go to the community services department link and mm -hmm. uh, you'll find uh, most of the information there. Mike, we just kind of glanced over the, the health fair and the, and the pet fair. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to be going on there? Well, the, the big thing we do is uh, it's basically a municipal services department uh, function, and we provide the support. But the big thing, it's featuring the pet fair, and one of the big promotions is to get your dog's license. And uh, that's one of the big things that they do, and they bring the dogs out so and get them to the shots. They can actually have that process right there. So if yes. it's, let's say, rabies shots or whatever yes. they need, it can be done right there, and it's, yes. I guess, low cost. Yes. And then the uh, license will be issued later on, of course. Yes. Right? And um, do you also have adoption um, as well, pet adoption, or not at that site? No, not that's, that. that's not part of the event. But right. yeah, people can bring their dogs out and let them get a drink of water out of the pool, usually fill the pool, you mm -hmm. know, and let the dogs drink. and. And but no, they can, and I believe it's it's no cost. It's uh, the last few years, it's been no cost. It's wow. been free. So one of the things that uh, Lawndale does, you know, to prevent uh, some of the problems and overpopulation issues right. with animals, but uh, basically just bring an awareness to uh, to health and safety. Uh, and it starts there with the with the kids and with the pets. And the sheriff's uh, department will be there having a booth there and uh, yes. talking about the uh, safety yes. issues for the city. Sheriff's department's always involved in our events, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So this is a good one. Once again, it's a very unique event to Lawndale. You go through many of the other cities and you don't see these types of events. Uh, you'll see uh, uh, traditional health fairs, but this kind of mixes health fair with fun and games and there's always uh, a great live music, um, right, yeah, and uh, absolutely. entertainment, and also some great food. Yeah, I've absolutely. been to one of them. Okay, yeah. and dog biscuits experience. too. 
<laughs> Maybe some dog biscuits. <laughs> but uh, once again, that's Saturday, June 19th, mm -hmm. and that's from 1 to 5, mm -hmm. and uh, the Rogers Anderson Park. Rogers okay. Anderson Park. Yeah. Lovely. All right, so again, the, uh, the youth parade is when? Youth Day April Parade is Saturday, 24th. April 24th. Okay. Uh, it begins at 10 a.m. Sharp. Yep, 10 a.m. Okay. sharp. It's usually about a two-hour parade, and then a, a nice awards presentation. Hopefully uh, I'm going to be there. <laughs> we'll count it Hosting the event, yes. Okay. Nice. All right, Mike, yeah. anything, else, uh, anything else on the table for you? No, just, uh, well, actually, there's a lot more, yeah. Just uh, we, we do have a comprehensive recreation program. You know, we mm -hmm. talked a lot about special events, but we have many activities for youth. Like I said, it's really important to keep the youth busy. Yes. Sports activities. Right now we have a 300-plus uh, soccer program going right now. Wow. So if, if you are uh, a parent of some soccer players and maybe you missed out this year, put us on the calendar for next spring and you can play soccer ages 5 to 17. Yeah, tell us about the sports events. Is, uh, Lou is sitting right next to us. He's yeah. an expert and on that. Lawndale's always been big with basketball. We finished our winter basketball program uh, in March, but we'll have a summer basketball program uh, in the summer. Uh, probably sign up for that in, in May. Is there any cost for that uh, for parents? Yes, there is. Yeah. It's, it's a youth program. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, reasonably priced at forty dollars for residents okay forty five for non but uh... if you have a basketball player out there and you're looking for something to do in the summer think about us in lawndale uh... we do take non-residents also which are very welcoming to not only lawndale residents but non-residents that's nice so it's uh... it's also very unique also you don't see a lot of summer basketball programs sure. most of them are traditional winter type programs uh... we have lots of recreational op options contract yeah. classes uh, programs for adults and as you know the senior programs in Lawndale have always been top-notch also. How forward are you looking to the new uh, recreation center, the new community center? Oh, the new community center, just uh, we are so looking forward to that. A beautiful 25,000 square foot uh, three-level building, one level of parking wow. and then two two levels of programming. Uh, we're really looking forward to that. You know, we've been, uh, uh, we're in need of facilities. You know, our, our the program demands at this time in Lawndale are uh, greater than, than we have right now. So we need more space, and we're going to put that to uh, to good use. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. See, I told you, he's got the funnest job here. That's right. <laughs> now we just found out. That's right. <laughs> Mike Estes, want to thank yes. you very much for joining us. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, we will be back with more election coverage right after this. We're back at Election well, Central here in the lobby of City Hall, City of Lawndale. We're live election coverage here on Channel 22 with Anita Calabari. I'm Lou Stowers and inside Election Central with more results from Precinct 4. Here's Permjeet Hara. So the excitement is starting to get even more excitable here in City Hall now as more of the votes have been counted. We are now moving on to the vote totals for precinct number four. So Mayor Harold Hoffman now has 189 votes. This is from precinct four, making his votes total at 497. In the council member race, Pat Kearney has 110 votes. James Ramsey is at 77 votes, and Larry Rudolph has 133. Moving on to the city clerk race, Marge Heineman has 58 votes, and Paula Hartwell has 127. Again, that is from Precinct 4, and we're still waiting on votes from the other two precincts. Back to you, Lou and Anita. All right, thank you very thank you much, uh, Permjeet. And it uh, looks like Larry Rudolph uh, is off and running to be uh, re-elected here for the city council seat. So one seat still up for grabs between Pat Kearney and Jim Ramsey. And Harold Hoffman on his way to a 10th term here wow. as mayor in the city of London. Double digit mayor. That's right. Yeah. And also uh, Paula Hartwell. Uh, is now very well in front of Marge Heinemann, and uh, that race is still up for grabs as well. Absolutely. Getting very, very exciting.